Hi and welcome to this UX Builder tutorial. We'll now have a look at how to use blocks. Blocks can be added to different sections of your page. For instance, on the top of this uh, shop category page, on the top of the blog, or as a widget in the sidebar. Blocks are elements that you can fill with custom content and add it to different places by using a short code. So wherever you put the short code, your block of content will appear. The short code can be placed different places. So if we go into the theme options, we can now go to blog, for instance, then blog layout. You can see we've got a HTML field for a header. A short code can be inserted here. We can also go back to the shop tab and you can see the field for the header here as well. So let's go back to create some blocks that we can put in here. Go to the dashboard, then onto blocks, and we can add a new block on the top. Let's start off with a blog header. So we'll just give the block a title and then publish it. The block is now created. So we can either put some HTML into the text editor or we can open the block in the UX Builder, which is what we'll do. Now we can see the block in the top of the UX Builder and we can add an element to it. We'll just create a banner make it a bit smaller, add a background image, just place it the way we like it and add some overlay. We can remove the text to create a title instead and we can add some social share icons underneath so that people can share our blog. We can also decrease the margin a bit. Perfect. So let's save that and uh, exit the UX Builder. You can now see that the block has content inside which you made in the UX Builder. So if we head over to the short code, we can now copy it and paste it into the theme options. So if we go onto the blog, then we can see the changes when we add the short code. We can then go onto the blog layout tab and paste our blog header shortcode into the HTML field. We have now added the block as the header of this page. Let's save that and go onto our page to see how it looks. If you now hover over the block, we have the option to open it in the UX Builder or the editor from here. We can go back into the UX Builder and do some changes. We can make the title bigger and add some text. Let's drag the social icons to the bottom. We can then update the page to see that the block has changed. And it will change at all the places where its short code is placed. Let's create a block for the shop page. We can see the one we just made, but we can create another one. Call that a shop header. Then open it in the UX Builder. We can add a slider this time. Then add a banner onto it. Make it a bit smaller again. Add an image. Call it shop and put it in the middle. If we go to the text box now, we can choose to display dark text. Perfect. Now um, let's create another element to the slide, another banner. Let's choose a preset, make it smaller and add an image. We can then copy the short code and go to the theme options again. Onto shop, category page, then open the page so we can see how it looks like. So if we add it to this field, it will appear on the top here. We can paste the short code and we now see the slider appearing at the top. Moreover, you can also add a block in the contents if you want to create everything yourself in the builder. So you can customize the way the products are displayed, for instance. Let's save this now. We can now go onto our site to see how the new blocks looks like on our page.